Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine, my friends. What a nice day to wake up. Bitcoin is again recovering. We are seeing right now a breather after that bad day that we had yesterday. You can see how fast the sentiment can change from very bearish like we had yesterday and very bullish like we are having today. The sentiment because Bitcoin is having this breather towards $52,000. Let's analyze and see if this breather here is sustainable or if there is a risk that we maybe still could come down here towards these 200 moving average in the four hour ride at $42,000. So the good thing is that right now we're seeing this breather here in the four hour time frame. You can see that we got a very nice buy signal down here. And of course, now we are seeing the price moving up again towards the 20 moving average at $53,000. So this is really the last resistance that we have in order to go again towards 60K and potentially even higher. Because if we're able to close four hour candles now again above $53,000, then we are back in the uptrend here in the four hour time frame, and we should expect the price to reach 60K very, very soon and potentially even go way higher. So in my own indicator here, you can see that the RSI currently formed a potential double bottom formation and right now we are fighting with the 50 level here this red line that you can see here so as soon as the RSI is coming above the 50 level I'm pretty confident that we will gear up towards 60k and probably go even way higher because if we we're able again to bring the four hour time frame here in an uptrend so trading above the 20 moving average then I'm pretty confident that 60k will be broken very very soon and a big shout out to everyone that is trading now with my new own indicator here on discord it's now online everyone can access to it for a little donation of course if you want to join our free crypto trading chat shout out to all the nice members that we have over here then you can just use the invitation link that you find down below here for discord the chat is completely for free everyone is welcome you can join it when you click here the invitation link go to read first click here the thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and like this you can enter into our chat for free and if you want to get here access to the live stream indicator or if you want a full indicator for your trading view then you have to send me a private message on discord to get access to it because of course a little donation is needed but like this you can do for sure some very nice trades and here usually we're trading the three hour time frame so as you can see also here we got a very good buy signal and we are now back into the EMA ribbon so as you can see right now we're getting rejected right here at the top of the EMA ribbon in the three hour time frame. So only a three hour close above the EMA ribbon will confirm us that we are back in an uptrend and that we will not get rejected here at this possible resistance point here. So the three hour time frame, even though we had here a nice bounce now, we are not out of the woods yet. We still need to go above $52,000 and also start to close three hour or four hour candles above this important price level in order to see continuation to the upside. And of course, the daily time frame is still bullish. Here we are trading above the bottom of the EMA ribbons. So here we are still in an uptrend. Even the 15 minutes time frame right now is again in an uptrend and money flow is again in positive. So everything is pointing out that we will go again towards 60K, but we are not completely out of the woods yet. What I want to see in order to have confirmation that we're gonna see 60K potentially even this week is that we're starting again to close four hour candles above $53,000, above the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame. And here, once again, the 15 minute time frame, which this indicator is also optimized with this time frame, of course, you can also do very short lived trades. But in general, here in the lower time frames, when you see the money flow in negative, it is always a good buy opportunity because money is leaving the market. And during an uptrend, this is the time when you want to accumulate more Bitcoin and start longing Bitcoin. And right now you can see that the momentum is again shifted to the upside. We have money flow again in positive, And that means that money is coming back into the market. And also here we are trading again in the uptrend. And so we're trading above the 200 moving average in the 15 minute time frame. 
and uh, actually this is a quite good long opportunity i think if you want to scale in some longs here at around 50k keep in mind that as long as we are trading below the midline here of the bollinger band so below 53000 dollar and closing four hour candles below this middle line we are in theory still in a downtrend so even though we, we could go long right now keep in mind that we could get rejected here at 53000 if we are not able to close four hour candles above this important price level so what we can do here maybe we can set some low leverage or completely without leverage if we go with 1x here on bybit uh, we can do without leverage some trades so let's see if they get executed here we can also put another one here at this price level another one let's say here at 50,200 just to scale in a bit here uh, the longs down to the previous moving average here at around the $49,200. So let's see where we can put another trade. Let's put it here at 50K. All right. And uh, yeah, we can maybe put another one here at 49500 all right so you can see here that if uh, well actually one is already executed so you see that my liquidation price now is at twenty five thousand four hundred dollars so far far away and i can even put here an order right above the liquidation price so let's see let's put it here at twenty five thousand five hundred uh let's see if we have enough uh, money for that uh, yeah, the liquidation price would be then uh, $14,900 if uh, we would drop down towards uh, 26000 So you can see, my friends, that it is imp almost impossible to get liquidated if you're starting without leverage. And once you're in profits, then of course you can take profits out or you just put a stop loss um, in profits. And then, of course, you can also increase your leverage because uh, when you go without leverage into a trade, of course, you need the full amount here in your balance and uh, once you're changing here the leverage so let's say i go then here 100x uh, then of course um, uh, this one thousand dollar would become ten dollars but my quantity here my position size would be uh, the same so this is the trick uh, with this 100x leverage that you can enter without or with low leverage and then here just go to 100x once you are having your trade in profit so once you put the stop loss in profits uh, because like that then your balance will be again uh, back into your account and you can compound your trade with 100x leverage without taking risks as long as you're having the stop loss in profits so let's see how this is uh, working out i think right now we still have uh, um, quite good uh, long opportunities here the 15 minutes it, it is looking quite bullish and here the three hour time frame even though we are right at the uh, resistance here i think it is still good to uh, go long we should have still a lot of room left to the upside and i think we are about to go and test this 52 to 53 thousand dollar area so this trade is not a trade that i'm gonna keep up here until 100k i probably just gonna close it again once here we are getting another sell signal uh, but for now i think we should be good to go to the upside here a bit uh, unfortunately this buy signal happened here at around forty seven thousand dollar at that time i was asleep so i couldn't take it here once we had this good buy signal so it's a bit late right now but i think uh, we're gonna see here this 53 thousand dollar it has pretty soon and then see if we are able to go above or not and although if we go over into the daily time frame here you can see that currently we are trading again above the 20 daily moving average so we are lucky that yesterday we didn't close below forty eight thousand dollar we had a very bullish close above the 20 daily now the next thing that needs to be done is to test here the, the nine daily moving average at fifty three thousand dollar and also close above so if today we're gonna have a four hour close above 53,000 and also above the nine daily moving average all at 53,000, then I think we're gonna go towards 60K and higher. Otherwise we are potentially gonna see the Bitcoin price moving sideways here between the 20 daily and nine daily moving average until we're gonna have a breakout here to the upside or to the downside towards the 50 daily moving average here at $42,000, which is still in the cards, my friends. We are not completely out of the woods right now and that's why be very careful if you're entering trades right now with high leverage there is still the risk that we could fall down towards 42,000 
and also in my own indicator you can see that the RSI is coming very close to the 50 level we are having a bounce here so that is a very good sign and uh, money flow is still very positive here so everything is still pointing out that we will go to way higher levels in the not so distant future so only short term we maybe could see again 40k but for the long term of course everything is still pointing out that we're going to see continuation to the upside of course so here in the daily we didn't get a buy signal yet so it is a bit dangerous right now to already buy in or uh, at least uh, start to scale in some huge big uh, long positions so be careful in the daily we are in theory still a bit shifted to the downside depending where we're gonna close here this next daily closes this is going to be very very important and uh, we also can have a look here into the weekly time frame because also here we have a sell signal flashing that always indicates that we could come down to test a nine weekly or 20 weekly moving average uh, here right at uh, 42,000 or the 20 weekly here at around 30,000 dollar this is just a warning it's nothing confirmed but this is always a warning sign that during this week we could see potential uh, dumps uh, incoming so let's wait and see and uh, keep in mind that also we are still far away from the stock to flow model price level that we should be in right now right here this blue trend line at around 34 33000 dollar so that's why i think it is likely that uh, we're gonna start to trade sideways here or maybe continue to go a bit lower until we're gonna reach again this blue trend line and then of course again bounce to the upside because for the long term here so approximately towards the end of this year we should be the price at one at 100k potentially even way way higher you know my estimation between two to three hundred thousand dollar and uh, now we can also have a look into the ethereum price because all the ethereum uh here came down if we go over into the daily time frame uh, here you can see that Ethereum came right back down towards the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame and we bounced exactly at the previous support trend line. So before we had this breakout here above $1,500, you can see that we had this green trend line here as a support very close to the 200 moving average. And right now we had here these four hour closes above this important trend line. And that of course is very, very bullish for ethereum as well we had also the same buy signals here like in bitcoin so also here we are seeing the price now moving towards a 20 moving average right here at 1740 dollars so let's hope and see that ethereum is also able to close four hour candles again above 1740 so above the 20 moving average in order to go again towards this 2k and potentially even higher so the four hour time frame is still looking good my friends i'm expecting here also some retests of this important moving average in the four hour and then hopefully also break it and start to close four hour candles above this important price level like that also we're gonna go to way higher levels than 2k if we're able to do that otherwise i'm afraid that also here we could potentially lose this support here at 1450 and even crash down towards the 100 daily moving average here at 1000 dollar in the worst case down here towards the 200 daily moving average at 750 dollar i don't think that is very likely but based here in the daily chart it is possible and also here in the ethereum price you can see that currently we are trading below the 20 and 9 daily moving average so also here potentially we're gonna see the price moving sideways between the 50 daily and 20 and 9 daily moving average so between 1800 and 1500 dollar for the next coming hours or days if we are not able to start to close again for our candles above the 20 moving average so even ethereum is looking again way more bullish than yesterday but keep in mind that everything is gonna be depending what bitcoin is going to do next so if here bitcoin decides to start to trade sideways i'm expecting the same thing for most of the altcoins so it's gonna be very very key my friends where right now bitcoin is gonna head to and keep in mind these important price levels the $42,000 level if we're gonna see the bearish scenario here if we're starting to close daily candles below the 20 daily moving average and of course if we're able to close again above the 9 daily moving average so above $53,000 that then we're gonna potentially see continuation to the upside and then of course the target is way above 60k because if we're able again to create higher highs here in the daily time frame I'm pretty confident that the 60k will be broken instantly and we're gonna move potentially towards 60 to 70 thousand dollars somewhere there and then of course also start to consolidate in this area 
So with that said guys, we're gonna wrap it up for now. A big shout out again to our great crypto trading chat. If you want to join it, make sure to use the official links down below here in the video description. And if you want to get access to my own indicator, then just contact me directly on Discord. For a small donation, you can get access to this new live stream that is updated now with the new indicator. And of course, check out all the other links if you need a Bybit, Femex or Binance account because with my links you will get some sign up bonus and some free money if you use my referral links. Of course, you also support the channel. And also for all Coinbase users, we have new links to claim some altcoins. You can just click here on these invitation links to claim your free band protocol, Stellar, EOS, Compound and so on. And of course, if you still need a Swiss Borg, Binance or Coinbase account, if you use my invitation links down below here, you will get some extra bonus for your first purchase. So if you like the content, my friends, hit that like button. Very much appreciated. Also subscribe to the channels. I do daily TA videos and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.